Good afternoon, I'm Tana Laster and you're at Laster Farm. Today we're outside in my garden and we're gonna look at our squash and they have grown so, so much. They're almost as tall as I am. If I stand on the other side, I'm sure they would be as tall as me. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna check and see if we've got any squash ready, so let's go. We got one zucchini that's about this long. It's coming along, but it's not quite ready. Looks like we've got one yellow squash here. Pretty good size. We can go ahead and harvest. And let's see what else is in here. good size. I don't like mine to get really big. I like them kind of small. And there's several, several more that's coming on. that looks like it's gotten a little rotty. About 10 on this plant growing. They're still, they're still, they could stay down a little bit, but let me try one more time over in the middle of this. These plants are huge. We've got one, two, three, four, five, you know, five squash. This was the biggest one that was on there. And so that's a good little mess that will go in something. I think that the plants are doing great considering the only fertilizer that we've had is our soil that we started out with from the very beginning that was mixed with our horse and donkey manure with the hay. That's it. So, I mean, our garden is growing wonderfully. And I'm going to show you over here. Um, you know, the cabbages. I mean, they have come back. They have really gotten big. I mean, these plants, they're huge. And, I mean, they're, some of them are just ready to harvest right now. If I needed to harvest. I mean, there's this one and this first one over here that could go ahead and be harvested. But I'm going to leave them. Uh, I still have cabbage inside, so 
I'm not going to harvest it, but another week, they should be a lot bigger, some a lot fuller. And look, and here's our onions, since I have, they're sticking back up since we have cut the tops out of them, and they're doing great. And then look across at our cucumber vines. Our cucumber vines are coming alive. Let's go over and get a good look at them. And our potatoes. Our potatoes are popping out of the ground. But, I mean, look how tall up the trellis that these cucumbers have gotten. And there are a few small cucumbers I noticed on the other side growing so they're doing great but I still here's one little one right there but I still need to come back and keep tying these on up the trellis but they're attaching themselves so I'm thankful for that let's get that one started on there these are just really doing great These tomatoes, can't say enough about my tomatoes. And look over there. Already four blocks up on our trellis. I mean, look how tall the tomatoes are. All of them are doing so good. And my pole beans are coming on up. Got a couple that have reached the top. So I'm hoping those will do good. I really wish that these on this side had been pole beans, but you know, they didn't turn out to be. So I need to put something over there that can grow up the trellis. I wish I had more cucumbers that I could plant over here on this side and let them grow over. But I guess now I've got my tomatoes in the way. Well, let's go over here and let's harvest up my Italian oregano because I know that it has bloomed out and I hope it's not going to be bitter, but we'll see. I'm going to harvest it anyway. I'm just going to take off the tops and uh, I'll end up putting this in my dehydrator. Oh, it smells wonderful. It just smells so good. dehydrating the tops you know to my onions 
so please go over to my uh, farmer's kitchen channel and watch what I did with those I dehydrated those and I I'm gonna show you how I stored those so if you haven't seen that video please go on over and give that a look I've got two videos on my dehydrated um, onion tops and see if it needs anything. Well, my basil is coming right along. bed needs weeding again. starting to get on it so I may chop the top out of it and it likes hot weather and there's a piece over here that I didn't get go ahead and take the tops out Pretty good start. And I think that I am going to leave 
my uh, mint julep and let that just really take over and establish itself. So let's go check out the sage over here. Yes, I believe that I need to harvest some of my sage and get it get it dehydrated. about lunchtime. And I'm not sure what the temperature is right now. Right. I think that's as low as I'm gonna cut that. And I'm not gonna cut any of my variegated sage. I'm gonna let it grow. So we've got a good size basket and I'm not gonna cut any of my rosemary over there. My tomato is going wild. <laughs> Oh, that grape tomato. But my rosemary is just, it's coming along. But it's still going to be a little while before I can harvest anything off of it.
harvest some of this parsley and get it ready to go in the dehydrator. He wouldn't hurt if I did some of that. Right. I'm just going to have to clip longer pieces and then I'll just let that smaller just come on out. pretty good. I'll cut this one off. And this little twig here. And let that grow out and out. And uh, I'm going to get this dehydrated. And uh, let's just go see what's going on. And I tell you, I really need to harvest some of my mint. Look at that. Come out here and clip my mint and get some of it harvested up. Let me go take this in and get another basket. But first, let me let you have a peek at my son and his sombrero. He's so funny. He's so funny. Here he comes. Taylor! Can you see? Can you see him up there with that big hat on his head? Come on, let's go on up there. I've got to get him. Okay. <sighs> My viewers want to see your sombrero. <laughs> Let me. Come on, say hi to, to my viewers. Whew. Don't you just love it? He's been out there working hard all day on that backhoe. And he's got his little hat on. He's keeping out the sun. Well, how's your hat working for you? I told him he's looking like his uncle. He's got a big old hat on. <laughs> oh, man. Sunburn. He thought his big sombrero would keep the sun blocked, but it didn't. So he's miserable. He's tired. Had to work in all day. Coming in from the fire department now, working his own business. It's kind of hard working at double shift like that. So I know he's tired. So I'm out here. I've had the babies all day today. I'll have them again tomorrow. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to harvest up some of this.
this out of this doorway because every time I come by here, I'm always slamming it in the door. a week or so this will be fully again just growing really especially if I keep it watered this is going to take no time it's going to be back up tall and pretty again so we got at least a half a bushel here maybe a little over time I pushed it down in there but anyway and the rest of our herbs that we've already gotten cut and so I'm going to go get them all washed up and get them laying out to dry. And then I'll get these in the dehydrator and uh, see how many batches I get done tonight. Since we've got three dehydrators, um, come along and join me on my other channel, The Farmer's Kitchen, and see what we've got going on there. So anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. God bless you. Until next time. Bye.